Hey everyone, Shaper 1000 here. Today we're going to be working on the 2000 Nissan Xterra. We're going to try to get some wires. A couple. It's pretty hot today, but we're going to try to get a couple of these wires um, hooked back up where the squirrels chew them. I got to get this thing to be able to move on its own power because we got something happening here in a couple weeks. So I'd rather be able to just get it and move, get in it and move it instead of having to pull it. So stick around. We'll get under the hood of here, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so what we got going on here is these wires have been chewed. They're saying squirrels. I don't know if squirrels are pack rats, but these wires are all chewed up and they're chewed way down in there, so I'm not sure what goes where. Some of them are color coded, so I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to bypass these and just go over to the wires. Um, we also have some up in here. Down in there that go into the fuse box. So I got a lot of wiring work to do. There's a lot of cobwebs on this thing. I don't like that. So let me get you set up here and uh, we'll get a game plan going and I gotta cut some of this back and find out, like I said, what, like that one there, it's a red and white wire. So, you know, I gotta find a red and white wire in there. Um, so I'll have to cut these back. This, um, the wire, I guess you call it wire loom, this wire tape. And we'll have to reconnect that. And we'll see all what other damage is done. Um, it is missing a spark plug wire. Someone apparently used it for something else. I couldn't seem to find it, so I did buy a new set. It's got a brand new set of spark plug wires. Because you gotta buy a whole set, you can't buy just one. So, all right guys, let me get you set up here. And We'll get a game plan going. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is try to get this cut back. Okay, there's a there's a plug wire right here that's chewed up anyway, so it would have needed two. Um, so we're just going to cut this back. Try not to cut any more of the wires. may have to unplug them to find out. Firing order's not real hard on this thing. Firing order's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a 3.3 liter and it goes counterclockwise. So that's pretty simple. Pretty simple to remember that. So, but we're going to have a car put, car put, we're going to have a carport put in here in a couple weeks. I already went down and paid for it. Um, nothing huge, but it's a decent one. It's a uh, 12 by 20. So we went and priced them out, looked at them, and just went ahead and paid for one. I was getting ready to walk out of the place because they was like, okay, well, you're going to pay us this amount of money, and then 
you got to pay another check in this amount of money and then when the installer gets there you got to pay him two hundred dollars with a check and i said look you know why do we have to do that i said that's like going to three different stores to get you know bread milk and butter she said well my boss don't like to have to spread that out i said well that's his fault not mine you know we want to buy it buy it out right you guys spread it where it needs to go and that's that you know or i'll go somewhere else i'm not you know i'm not going to do that so she was like well we well we can do it he just don't like to well i don't care that's you know that's your guys job not mine to find out where all the money's got to go you give us give us the amount that it's going to cost and we'll pay for it right now we'll cut you a check and it's paid for and then when it's time you know depending on the weather they said two to three weeks is what they are you know but they're supposed to have it done in a day so i was like you know we'll just we're just going to pay the full amount and uh and then you guys distribute the money where the money needs to go. It's not up to me to do that. She said, well, I see your point. Because I said, I'm not, you know, that's just not me, you know. Like I said, I'm not going to three different stores to buy three different things. When one store has it all, you know what I mean? You know, when I order a pizza, I don't have to. Wait on one guy to bring the pizza, another guy to bring the cheese, and another guy to bring the pepperoni. It's the same thing. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm going to give you one money. You guys, your boss can distribute it where it needs to go, you know. I'm not the contractor. They're not my contractors. They're your guys' contractors. So you pay them, you know. I mean, if that was the case, I'd hire my own contractor. I'm not doing that. Okay, so we need to find out, let's see, where these wires actually go, or it won't run, or if it does, it'll run bad, <laughs> poorly, very poorly. I mean, you can get a, I'm having a hard time finding a kit, but if I get the right kit, that's brand new kit, like twelve or fourteen hundred dollars and I'm not you know I'm not gonna put twelve or fourteen hundred dollars in a two thousand dollar car you know I, I'm I'm on it I'm into it right right now you know I've got 300 bucks in it so I can put a little money in it but I can't put a lot of money in it and I'm not going to put a lot of money in it okay so let's see there's a green and white wire there. Okay, there's a red and white wire. So my guess is this red and white wire here. It's going to go down to that one, that fuel injector. Then I'll have, you know, I'll put some wire looms. I've got to order some wire looms anyway. I like to keep that stuff around. It's handy. I'll find some. I got some blue in there, but it was for the boat. I'm not putting blue on it. Although it would look all right because spark plug wires are blue, but I just want to go with the black wire casings. See, that's chewed off. Not sure exactly where that went. Okay, there's a green, green and white one here. There's a red and white one. So this red and white one will be going down to that fuel injector. Uh, this green and white one here is another fuel injector wire so i'm gonna have to find out where it is maybe over here the gray one so i'm looking for a green and white one there's a purple and white okay there's a green and white one in this harness right here I see back here so I'll have to take it back to here and hook them together 
So I'm going to have to cut this back. Remember, we're not restoring this, guys. We're just making it functional. And hopefully it runs good. Because I'm not going to sell somebody, you know, a piece of junk. You know what I mean? It's just not, it's not my character. It's not what I'm going to do. Now, if somebody wanted to buy right now and made me a good offer on it, knowing, hey, you know, this is what it's going to need, then I would sell it to them. But a bunch of tape around that. Okay, so there's the green and white one. It's going to go to that one. I'll have to uh, clip these back some more. There's a purple and white one, which we found right here so they're all color coded so it shouldn't be hard I shouldn't be able to mess it up there's the blue wire it goes over here on this one so yeah it should be shouldn't be that difficult same way with those over there those are all color coded everything works except for the uh, windshield wipers so I'm guessing it's over in that and I don't remember hearing the pump kick on when I turned the key on which is probably in that over there so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to get this all peeled back and I'll show you how I'm going to fix one wire and then uh, you'll get the idea I'm going to solder them and put heat shrink over them this is a fuel line here that he cut off because he Drain the fuel out by shooting air and in, back into the tank. I think that's what that plastic bag is for that we saw in the tank. This is a, another fuel line. It goes down here. Comes from here and then uh, I forget where it goes after that. Oh, no, this one, this one goes here. This must have just been a fuel line he had to drain the fuel. This one goes here, which I'll use a piece of this fuel line instead of that red one. It'll go there. And of course this one goes up here, which I may have to get some more of that line and, and um, make it longer, you know, lengthen it out. But yeah, I think that carport is going to be it's going to be decent um it's got six foot legs but you know the, the center height like nine feet and uh, it's going to be 12 feet wide 20 feet long but then it's going to have three foot sides so half the sides are going to be you know covered so that way it'll keep most of the rain off of me when i want to work out here in the rain plus it should help draw some air under and push the hot air up out but we'll see looks like we've got some issues here we're gonna to have to fix these too um just so they don't short out they're still connected but i'll have to unconnect them reconnect them okay so that one's good that one's good i'm guessing this one's okay because it's not eating through yet all right, let me keep on keeping on on this thing. Getting some of this stuff peeled back. And we'll go from there. Uh, let's see, there's one here. Where it goes. I think it is this one here, which might have been that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Trust me. Okay, guys, so... I had to go and buy some wires because my wires were not the right size, so I'm gonna go with with this. I bought I bought a pack of uh I bought a roll of uh, 18 gauge and a roll of 16 gauge and a package of heat shrink.
$52. It's crazy. Well, it's not crazy. It's just, it's ridiculous. <laughs> you know? But, eh, what are you going to do? I'm still way below my budget. Because the only thing I've had to buy is the wire. Heat shrink. I didn't really need that for this. I probably had enough. Um, so I just got it. Because I like to have that stuff in stock. You know what I mean? So, let me see it. This is okay. This is the this is the 18. So we're going to use it. Now what I'm going to do is I'll just show you how I'm going to do one of these, and then we'll go from there and cut off about that much of it. Let's go. I'm gonna trim this back. Do this. We're gonna do the same thing to this red and white wire here. Oh, I got I just got white because they don't have striped wires at the parts store. Bye mama. Bye. Thank you. that this is actually a little bigger than what I need but you know it'll be fine now let me get a piece of heat shrink there's my old one but as you can see you know I'm running low on that I've had enough probably to do this but I was running low on this this size that I use mostly and this size here so you know I just went ahead and just bought another one so I don't think I'm going to really count that into the price of the car itself so I'm going to slide this well let's just put it on well let's see if we can put it on this end and slide it well it'll go up here Got my soldering gun over there, my new soldering iron, not my gun, I got I got a new soldering gun in there. Monkey bought me a couple years ago. I haven't even used it yet. It's still got the plastic the plastic on it. Alright, let's go with um Yeah, let's see. Let's go go with the next size up I gotta set this stuff in the shade because it will shrink up on you I don't know if you heard that but it, it will shrink up on you so we're gonna put that there um, so I am gonna get let's see, I'm gonna get a smaller piece of this and the smallest they had was uh, 18 gauge. So we're gonna put the smaller piece over here and then that piece will go over top of here. Okay. Now I got my flux here. I'm just gonna dip that in the flux dip this in the flux I guess okay. there's so many different ways you can do this I just stick them together and twist them and then solder them they will not come off I see guys like timing knots and stuff. I don't want to come on. If you're pulling that much on a wire, you need to lengthen your wire or do something different because once that's soldered, that's not going to come off of there. Okay, let's see. 
I've got this. Let's tin this up a little bit here. You guys see what I'm doing here? Let me see. Okay. All together, I've got 31 wires to do, so I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to bore you with that, guys. Okay, let's unplug this because I want to try out something Monkey bought me. Let me set this over here out of the way so I don't get burnt. It's metal. Ah. From Timu. It's a heat gun. Never used it. It says it's for crafts. It came with some, it looked like shrink too, but I don't know, you know, I'm not sure. But if it's for crafts, I don't know if I want to trust it on this high heat engine. You know what I mean? So there's a little booklet here. 300 watts. I've got a huge heat gun in there kind of hard to get to right now so that's another reason I'm gonna love having that um, that carport because I can take see in order to clean that garage right I've got to take everything out of it and then put it all back in to situate it that's gonna take several days and here in Florida it rains every day so I put my stuff under there you know that I can't that you know it won't get wet and everything and then I'll be able to at my laser get my garage back in order for my long time followers or longer time followers well no I used to keep that garage nice and nice and clean but when her dad passed away you know he had a two and a half car garage full of stuff so you know I mean that uh, plus my stuff and that's all in the garage there so uh, well I might want to plug it in here. All right, we're plugged in. So yeah, now you can see why it's gonna it's gonna take a while, and I don't want to bore you. But of course, when I get it done, I'll show you the final what we came up with. Okay, this is working nicely. I don't know what she gave for it. I'm sorry, but. Okay, yeah, that's working pretty good. It's not as fast as my lighter, but I'm sure I would go through a whole lighter just doing this project. Because, well, for those of you that don't know, I mean, this is just heat shrink. You can use the lighter. A lot of guys use their, uh, they just rub their, um, yeah, it's, it's fine. So, a lot of guys would just rub their soldering iron on it. And I don't like doing that because, you know, you could melt through it and not know it. And then you got a bare wire or something like that. So, but that's what I'm going to keep doing. Uh, I'm only going to do a couple more because it's super duper hot. And um, I can't be in this heat. I'm not allowed to be in this heat. But, so, yeah, see, that one almost fits. So, I can use probably this on, where did I put my cutter? And then the piece I cut off of here, I can use maybe on another one, we'll see. But that's what I'm going to do, okay guys? So bear with me. Like I said, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do a whole bunch of them. 
on camera because it's boring and it's hot I'm not I'm probably not gonna get them all done today either I might just do a couple and then that's it so um, yeah that'll go down there like that okay then I'll show you when this one's done what we're looking at okay guys I hope you can see that pretty good because like when I close the screen it still stays on but it goes dark for to save battery not clear dark but it darkens down so it's kind of hard to see when the sun's out so you can see the sun's not out so i'm going to go ahead and end this video here you see what i'm doing and i'll show you here in just a minute of i've got what three or four done <laughs> um would it have been easier to to replace like go to a scrap yard and try to find that um and then run around and try to do all that and then pull the plenum off and you know all that you know if i had the, the the harness here i mean easier not really would it be quicker not really six one half a dozen the other now if i get this all done and it doesn't work right you know i mean there could be something up underneath that plenum you know that's shooting half i don't know i got a battery light blinking uh hang on a second guys and let me change the battery for you okay sorry about that but the screen goes you know it goes a little dim to save on battery and it's kind of hard to see but anyway i got some storms rolling in i want to get another one or two wires in but would it be quicker probably not would it be easier probably not six one half a dozen the other so i choose this route but like okay so like i was saying you know there may be wires up in there i can't see that are chewed we'll know once when we go to start it how what well runs you know if it runs fine that's fine of course when i sell this i'll have to let you know the new buyer know that there has been wiring issues they are repaired but just so they know you know be aware in the future there could be an issue later i don't know but i think the way i'm doing it is is fine i've never had issues like that before so you know doing it that way but i will let the you know because a lot of guys try to hide that or they just won't mention i didn't know it was like that you know it must have been the guy before me whatever i'm honest i'll tell the people look i do know I had wiring issues because i fixed them myself but you know i know i know what i'm doing and and we'll make it look nice um also i wanted to mention uh you guys remember ben from bxx32 uh He's uploading again. Awesome. You need to check his content out. He does abandoned places and stuff like that. And he uh, he actually published a, a book. And um, he does uh, like the old one room school houses. And um, really awesome channel. Um, but his, his link to his channel is in my description. It has been for many years. It always will be for many years. But he kind of took a hiatus and um you know hey i back him whatever he wants to do if he wants to put a video up fine if he don't fine but when he does i'm right there and i'm watching it so please go check him out and uh, he's got a he's been popping them out pretty pretty quick uh he just put one up earlier um i haven't seen it yet so i'm gonna watch it with monkey tonight so uh he bought him a new a new dodge journey so it looks pretty nice so this this video he just put up is um is a tour of his dodge journey so all right let me show you what i did real quick before i get struck down again okay so you can see you get the idea this wire that wire that wire that wire i've got four of them done I wanted to get a couple more done. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, you know, I got these to do. These three. This one, this one, this one. Uh, all of them over there yet. So I'm going to try to get a couple more done. But anyway, it's, it's coming along, guys. Uh, hopefully I can get some more done on it. Because Friday, tomorrow, because... Uh, let's see tomorrow's Wednesday so Wednesday and Thursday I'm gonna try to get get this you know 
as much as I can maybe to get it to where we can even try to fire it and um, that would be nice because Friday I've got another doctor's appointment well what do I got I got another another cat scan or something to do Friday so anyway you know so I'm gonna try to get this done or not done it's not the truck's not gonna be done done for you know a little while yet but I want to get it to where it's moving on its own power so and then once the wiring's all done other than a couple light bulbs this thing you know is all pretty much going to be detail you know like all this stuff needs to be clean you know um, yeah it's dirty the inside is is nasty you know it'll probably take me a whole day just to do the inside um, and then when I detail the outside that'll take at least another day maybe two depending on the heat once I get the the carport up though that'll be a lot nicer I can work under there detail wash things and I can put fans in there if I have to and uh, you know I have to put some lights but that's okay because the box is right over there so I can run some lights out to it but anyway guys thanks for watching I appreciate it uh, monkey's doing well she's at the doctor but her arm's doing well so that's good um, they did call her on Monday they called her in the morning but she missed a call and she's been trying to call back and I guess they're ghosting her I don't know so anyway but so her mom was back in the hospital again I don't think I mentioned that but she's home now and then she fell again yesterday and of course I can't lift anymore so she fell again yesterday um, she didn't get hurt or anything she just kind of slides down you know onto her butt so we just had the medics come in they picked her up they checked her vitals and everything checked her out she was fine they was in and out of here in 15 minutes and monkey fell again so all right guys shea bear the myth the man legend gone for now and uh remember bxx32 check him out his name's ben awesome guy he's out of ohio my home state <laughs> All them years we never got to, it was just always something we, we just we couldn't hook up. But So hopefully soon. Um, so anyway, Shea Bear the Myth the Man Legend, gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to try to get one more wire done. Now I'm going to call it a day because i got to pick up all this stuff and get it in a dry place. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. Have a safe one. Take care.